Back in 2020, I started studying in ATU on the Certificate of Supervisory Management course and I obtained my qualification in the Supervisory Management course in 2021. It piqued my interest in the HR and I chose it because I had previous experience in management and I wanted to further enhance my skills and abilities in this area. At times it has been a challenge, but so enjoyable. The challenge for me was balancing my personal obligations and my professional commitments. But despite those obstacles, I had unwavering support and encouragement from my friends, family, and especially my peers because they were in the same boat as me. I think throughout the last four years, I have definitely become more resilient. This course has taught me to work under pressure, but a good pressure, and to hone in on those time management skills and ensure that you are able to meet deadlines and meet those pressures. That would be the advice I would give. Through the course, I decided to change my career path and so I've gone into the public sector and I have learned so many new skills and developed so much more knowledge in that area but it also has taught me if you don't change you're never going to progress or develop yourself. For anyone who is coming back to third level education it can be quite scary and you can be quite apprehensive because you've been working as a working professional for so long. But the minute you walk through those doors, there's a warmth. There's in-class discussions, which also helps you develop your knowledge. They were the best part. Lectures are extremely helpful. They assist you at gaining access to online material and they are very approachable. And more importantly, they are readily available for any queries that you have. In fourth year, we studied data analytics and creating value. And it was interesting to see because this is highly relevant in the HR industry now and it's becoming more relevant. And it helps you to use data to gain knowledge and better decision-making skills. Employment law focuses on areas such as employment equality, disciplinary action, health and safety, employment rights. Studying cases in the WRC, which is very interesting, the outcome was not always what you expected especially when it comes to ethical considerations in the WRC. So it was very, very interesting. And I suppose the last one would have been um, employee engagement and wellbeing. We studied this and we learned how to deal with organisational behaviour and to help people develop and grow within the organisation, but ensuring that their pursuit of the work-life balance is at the forefront of every organisation's goal. It does not come easy but the achievement at the end is worth it in bucket loads. If there's that little bit of will I, won't I, I would say jump on the side of the fence and go for it. You will have no regrets because nobody can ever take away a qualification once you have it achieved.